Hi everybody, it's Candy from Custom Queen Designs again, and I'm here to pour another coaster mold. What Rory is showing you is one that I poured last night. Um, this is the bell mold that I got from lkcreative.com. And I just need to put a flood coat on this one, but tonight I'm going to be pouring the Giselle. Where you can get the molds, it'll be in the description, just like it was the other video. Right, and this one is called Giselle. This is Belle, this is Giselle. So I'm going to pour Giselle tonight. And tonight I'm going to be using gold alcohol ink from Pinata. I'm going to be using fairy dust from Mica Manias. That's going to be my main color. I'm going to be using passion, which is chameleon mica, also from Mica Manias. And what's a chameleon mica? It's like a color shift. It changes color depending on where you... So I'm going to see how it works as a kind of marble effect going through the fairy dust. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and mix up my colors first. And mix up some of this passion. And again, I'm using Pro Marine Epoxy. The description for it, the um, link for it will be in the description. Oh wow, this is cool. Fairy dust is basically going to be the base color that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to mix in some of the passion along with some of the gold alcohol ink. And this is how this looks in here. on the cup yet but that's coming soon too. So we get this mixed up and next what we're going to be mixing is going to try and see about mixing some of this gold pinata ink into the epoxy. Have you ever done it, that before? You said see about like you don't. Well I've never done it before but I want to see if it'll swirl better being in the epoxy than if um I do it just by putting it down there. Just got there. I'm gonna make sure it all spreads poured, out. Yeah, you did pour a little bit heavier over here and over here, but. So, all I'm gonna do now is just try to spread this out as much as I can. And it doesn't matter if it's too thin, it's gonna get a flood coat on it. Oh, 
Luke gun is still a gun. Alright, here's the heater. So hopefully this will just let it flow a little bit better, so you can move it around. Okay. You don't even know, Rory. I grew up in the 80s. Tell your age. I ain't shaming my age. He's 65, you guys. 65. August 1st, 1977. right there or right there while I was pointing originally. Giselle, the one that I'm pouring now, the coaster mold. Giselle. I poured it the other night. <laughs> 
and I was a bit intimidated by it. I guess because of the shape and the fact that it, it fits as a puzzle and like, am I gonna make the pieces look good together? Are they gonna be coherent with the middle piece? It's kind of intimidating, but. Scared money don't make none. Out of alphabet. So. And then I'm going to go in with some gold. Are you on high, medium, low? No, right now I'm on medium. I was noticing on one of the videos that you were watching. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's the lady from LK.com when she was doing it, the lady LK who made the molds. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She she had um. She had a, an attachment. For yeah. Her. Which is so cool because I made the air like, like more directed, you know, right? Yeah. You gotta grab one of those for you. So since I don't have one of those, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is uh maybe move this around a bit. Looks like a 
fish out of there on, on that one. Oh no, it just filled them on its own. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I got a bubble there. Yeah. And then the exact corner. I did want to share with you guys so um, tomorrow I'm going to be working on doing a, a colored wood grain tumbler. I am going to record it when I do it. Um, today I was practicing and this is the first one that I did and this is the first knot that I've ever done. This is the first time I've ever done wood grain and I decided to do purple. And I did the handle the best way that I could. Purple wood. Unbelievable. So that's what I got going on with that one. And then this evening, just to see if I could practice a little bit, because I kind of messed up spray painting this cup, I decided to do a green. Um, hold it flat. Like this? No, flat. Oh, like this. Oh, it's not too good. I'm going to try to see if I can find a way. There we go. They can kind of see. Mm -hmm. And then I did two knots on this one because I was practicing. And then that's the other one. Looks pretty, 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 pretty good. So tomorrow I'm going to do this one. I've already uh, I alcohol inked it. Um, I used the Marabou turquoise alcohol ink and the Marabou rainbow additive from that I got from Mr. Nola's Glitters. And this is the result of it. Hold it flat so you can get that shimmer. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to make a video of when I put the decals on here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and epoxy it tonight so that I'll be able to put the decals on it tomorrow. And we're going to spray paint it white and then we're going to do the pink wood grain over this and then pull up the decals and see what we have. Yeah, I'm doing something outside the box I've never done before. And just so you know, these are the bells from the other night. Pretty. Zoom in on that. Oh, that's gorgeous. It almost looks like I don't know, kind of like an explosion in space towards the edges here. It's, it's like really space pretty. dust blowing out. These so came out really pretty for this to be my first set of coasters doing like this mold. Mm. So this is what I can look forward to with these. I'm going to put the gold around the edges. There's a little bit of gold going on in there too. But, yep. This is what I've done. Um, I'm digging the way that these are starting to... to and now it's looking pretty good. I like them. The very pearly and the colors that that passion in there is like a orangey, mm -hmm. reddish, pinkish color. And then you've and the got the fairy dust. Bring it out a little bit. 
true. You've got the gold in there, and you've got the fairy dust coming in with this like light bluish, pinkish color. That's just like pretty cool looking. I don't, I don't know if it can come across on the camera as well, but I'm telling you that it, it looks really cool in person. Micomania's, Micomania has some of the prettiest mica powders that I've seen. Um, I ordered some from Amazon, like I said, and they have a nice shimmer to them, but these mica powders, like the, the pearliness, that pearl essence to them, is like phenomenal. I really like using them, and I'm definitely going to be getting more from her. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. And I'm excited tomorrow to come and do this wood grain for you. We might mess it up, but then again, we might not. So, you know, practice makes perfect. Well, look look at this that. guy. Remember this handsome glass over here? Yeah. This is my drink, you guys. You see this? Having a toast to toast to you. <laughs> it's not wine, though. It's ginger ale. Cranberry ginger oil. I don't drink. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, the links for everything that I named, the epoxy, the, the mold, the mica powders, the alcohol ink, everything will be in the description for this video. Please continue to watch and subscribe. Thank you so much. And share. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Later, y'all.